My acne has disappeared. <laughs> Holy crap. Today we're gonna be trying out something a little different and test out the new Tarte Face Tape Foundation. So before we test this out, here's the thing. Last year, Tarte released 25 shades of a shape tape foundation that was meant to be like an accompaniment to their best-selling concealer. A lot of us have tried shape tape. Most of us love it. It's kind of like what set the precedent for a great concealer in the beauty community. And this Shape Tape Foundation release was an absolute mess. When it happened last year, Fenty Beauty had already came out, so we already had a lot of different shades of foundation. People were like touting, you know, 40, 50 different shades, all the different foundation companies were doing it, and then Tarte had the audacity to come out with just like 10 shades, whatever, 10 to 15 shades of just pure white creamy colors and then like two dark deeper shades. It just rubbed me the wrong way. I am incredibly privileged to walk into a store and not have an issue with finding my match. I can't even imagine going into a store and going to your favorite makeup brand being maybe Tarte and seeing that they don't even have a foundation for you. It's honestly just ridiculous. Whether or not you were included in the shade range they gave you, the lack of effort to include as many people as you could was just so blatantly obvious. A lot of people also thought that the formulas and the packaging on the old Shape Tape Foundation just kind of sucked and it wasn't that great overall. So we started out with a bad shade range and then on top of that, the actual product just was not good. It's not our job to tell you guys what to think or how to feel, but it is our job to tell you the background, tell you what's going on, lay all the facts out for you, and let you decide for yourself. So we're gonna test out the new Tarte Face Tape Foundation, compare it in terms of the old one, and give you our honest opinions on the controversy, but also remain unbiased and give this foundation a really fair review. So we have 50 shades in the Face Tape Foundation. The Face Tape Foundation has five different undertones that you can choose from. So we have beige, sand, neutral, honey, and golden. This foundation claims to be matte, vegan, transfer proof, sweat proof, waterproof, and long wearing. We are gonna be testing out the foundation with the Shape Tape concealers to see how well they work together and if they're actually as perfectly made for each other as they claim. My skin is combination leaning more towards oily and I'm gonna be using the same primer and beauty sponge I use all the time that I know work really well. I'm gonna use the Ordinary's High Adherence Silicone Primer and this beauty sponge I got from Shop Miss A. The shade that I'm gonna be using in the Face Tape Foundation is Medium Tan Neutral. This one is okay, it's a little darker maybe, but I feel like the lighter one just did not look right, the shade above this one. So I'm just gonna like, I'm nervous. I'm just gonna dot it around. Don't judge until I blend. I'm really unsure. It says it's full coverage. So I'm, I should probably start with just a, a decent amount, I guess. That seems fine, like I have the pox. That amount covered pretty dang well. My acne has disappeared. <laughs> Holy crap. It doesn't look or feel too drying. Wow, look at that. You can still see the dewiness on my skin. So far, I'm really impressed with how it looks. It doesn't exaggerate my pores. It doesn't make anything look dry. I think it still has a really nice glow, even though it is a matte foundation. It doesn't look like a super drying 
matte, like no shine whatsoever foundation. I like that it still looks like skin. So now that we see how it looks by itself, let's add some shape tape. I'm gonna use the shade Light Medium Sand. Gotta admit, even though I kinda don't want to, it looks pretty good. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta have my mustache. <laughs> That blended together seamlessly. It looks like they work together really, really well. Um, also, I don't know, but maybe, you know, the serum primers and stuff you use to make a base with could affect it. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup now. I'm gonna set everything with some powder and I will be right my first impression of this foundation is that it is pretty good. This is what it looks like fresh on my face. I've done the rest of my makeup and I think that the color is fine. I feel like I probably could find a shade that's better suited to me so I don't have to blend down my neck so much. Compared to the older Shape Tape foundation, I think that this one actually stepped up in a lot of areas. I know that a lot of people were saying the other one was way too matte and drying. This one was pretty good. Like my skin still looked dewy after application, which says that it's not a totally drying matte formula. Another issue people had is that the older one had a doe foot applicator, but this one has a pump, which I love. We all love a pump. More pumps. More pumps 2K19. The thing is, I think that this new launch is a good launch on its own. If the controversy had never happened, it's definitely better when compared to the first launch, obviously, because they had no other choice, I think, but to right their wrong. And I think that this is a step in the right direction for them. I think this time around, Tarte really delivered on this formula. Who knows? Eight hours from now, I might be singing a different tune, being like, don't spend your $39 on this. I didn't run into any issues when blending. I didn't see any rubbing off. I didn't see patchiness. I didn't see any dry spots being exaggerated. So. Right now, this foundation is pretty solid, in my opinion. This is, this is a good one. The real test, though, will come when we do our wear test. So we're gonna all do a wear test for eight hours, and we're gonna check back in with you guys later on our phones just to show you how the foundation held up all day long and see if anything changed, see if our opinions change about it later on once we see like the real wear and tear start to get at this foundation. So my skin type is primarily combination. The brush that I'm gonna use today is the Morphe M439. Um, it's like this really big, thick brush, um, like Kabuki-esque. And then I'm gonna use the Tatcha Silk Canvas that cost all my money and all my coins, but it's really good. I'm gonna use the shade Deep Honey. Hmm, doesn't smell bad, actually. It is blending. Like, I would probably work with this. I'm a little hesitant to say it because it takes a while and I don't know if it'll oxidize, but it feels like good now. It feels like a good match. I feel pretty bright looking. So this is the sharp tape. This is the sharp. Nope. <laughs> Shit, I do it all the time. This is the shape tape <laughs> by Tarte and it's in tan deep sand. The color match is really good, which I wasn't expecting just because I grabbed this kind of like, it looked okay and in the tube, it's like a different color, but on my skin, it looks a lot better than I was anticipating. Um, it feels good. It's pretty. I feel like it hit us pretty hard last year when Jackie and Alyssa made that iconic video. I think I may have some luck if I keep the darker color like around the perimeter. That is and so then... orange. That is <laughs> orange. And they just listed all the shades and it was literally like 25 shades of all cream, white base names and then like mahogany, which we we all know, like if you're a black person, you know there's a mahogany in like all your foundations. I feel like we missed the mark with Tarte. Um, 
and tart miss the mark with us and it's just disappointing like it makes me feel bad to even wear it though i know it looks good i think like companies at this point there's so many different shades right now we know you can make so many different types of foundations like let's add way more ranges way more like tones that match with certain skin complexions um i don't know it's it's not that impressive i'm just it's a little lackluster I have pretty dry skin, but it does get a little bit oily throughout the day around my T-zone. I would say it's overall dry, semi-acne prone, depending, you know, the time of the month and everything, what I'm using on my face at the time. So right now I'm breaking out a bit. So I'm very interested to see if this foundation will help cover these little breakouts. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. And this is the Cover FX Blurring Primer because I feel like I have bigger pores around my T-zone, so I like to fill them in with this. I also use the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I am using the color Fair Neutral, that is 12N. I'm gonna use my finger, my hands are clean. Don't come for me. Um, and I'm gonna put it on my face. It feels really nice. It feels very like creamy. Like the first word that came to my mind was milkshake. I don't know why. I think the color match is really good for me. I look like a corpse. <laughs> but I honestly, I'm pretty impressed off the bat. I really liked how it felt, like even on my finger, like it felt very nice putting it on my face. It feels nice on my face. It doesn't feel too heavy. I think it has pretty good coverage. I think I could build it up even more if I wanted to. I don't think it would get very cakey. I can still kind of see my blemishes, but they're not as red or as noticeable as they were before. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm using color Fair Neutral, which is the same as I use in the foundation, which is really cool, because I only really use my concealer to like, I do put it under my eyes, but it's not so much as to brighten as it is to cover, as well as on my blemishes, so I think that is really cool that I could match it. It is very blendable, just like the foundation was, which is like my favorite part of the concealer, so it's really nice that the foundation also blends super well. I honestly am very happy with this foundation. I think that it looks really nice. I think all of my products went on very smoothly and very nicely. Not super different than usual, but that's kind of good because what I do usually is like my favorites. I don't feel dry, I don't feel like I'm cracking, like anything is super cakey. If this was a heartfelt move and they're really trying to make amends, it could be good, but honestly, I really don't think that it's going to make a lot of people change their minds about Tarte. So now the last thing to test is how good it wears. I'm gonna head to the gym later. Apparently this stuff is sweat proof, but we'll see about that. I will let you guys know how it turns out. Hey guys, welcome to my crib. <laughs> it t got more oily than I anticipated. So if you have typically oily skin, this might not be the greatest foundation for you. Um, but if you have combination skin, this is something that you probably have to keep up with throughout the day, um, especially if you're wearing it for more than like five, six, whatever hours. For the price range, because of the coverage, it was pretty good. The like luminosity, it looked really good on my skin. I think I would pay for this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I would pay for a foundation like this if I supported Tarte. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm at the gym and it's been about four hours and from far away, I think my face looks flawless, but from close up, I don't know if you can see like all of this, it's like separating everywhere. Here, 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 even on my forehead. It usually only separates on my chin. This nose thing's a little weird. Like maybe if I was like 12 hours in, but I'm going to work out and sweat through it and I will show you after that. Hello friends. It has been officially eight hours of wearing this foundation. So I think from right here, it looks really good. And that's kind of my mantra of the day. It looks so good from far away. Like, 
perfect skin, baby skin, like flawless. But then, okay, this only started like maybe three hours in, but then you get up here and you, you see some things that I don't want you to be seeing. I don't know if it's fully sweat proof because I didn't, I wasn't like dripping in sweat, but I did sweat. So it, I, it honestly before and now it doesn't look really much different. So if that tells you anything about the sweat proofness, that's pretty good. But I'm gonna show you close up. This is what we're dealing with here. We have a lot of breakage. I definitely do think it's worth the price. It's $39. That's kind of comparable to any other foundations that I usually use. Yeah, my only major problems are just this like breakage and separation of the foundation on my like lower half of my face. So it's been about eight hours since I tried on the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. Gotta say, I do look pretty oily for a foundation that claims to be very mattifying. I don't know, I just feel like I have other matte foundations that I've used with my usual powder, my usual primer that do not get me this oily. I feel like I've tried other matte foundations that have worked better in terms of keeping all of this shine away. So those were our thoughts on the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. I really hope you guys got something out of this, whether or not it was made up your mind to purchase this item or not purchase this item. Celia, Marissa, and I wanted to be really just open and honest about our views on this whole situation and what happened last year. I don't know if I'd ever fully support Tarte as a brand again, but if you are a supporter of Tarte, if you really just love their products and have moved on from what happened, then I would say give this product a try. I think it's a really solid foundation.